Hello my YouTubians and how you going? Uh, this is Danny Waywolf from Jason Bones Inspectors and welcome to So You Want to Be a Paranormal Investigation 2021 Episode 1 Yeah. Alright, so uh, this year's series is going to be about the meat and potatoes of investigating um, what you can expect, what you can't expect uh, things that I do when I go on investigations and why I do certain things um, and uh, overall view of, of different investigative uh, ideas and stuff like that. Um, so first, let's let's look at you want to be an investigator. That's fantastic. Okay, so um, paranormal investigating is a lot of work. Okay, first of all. Um, it's not like on TV or, or even on my channel sometimes, you know, um, where you think you're going to go out and uh, you're going to be there for an hour or half hour and, and get some amazing stuff or whatever. It doesn't work that way. Um, not very often. Um, but anyway, you got to keep in mind, uh, there's lots and lots of stuff that goes into it. First of all, you got to you got to find the location that you want to go to. So that's your first step is to find your location. Uh, where you want to do your investigation. But once you go there, you have to go there during the day, um, especially if you do night investigations, but um, you want to go there during the day before the investigation, so a pre-investigation to, for, for lots of different reasons. Number one, to find out, you know, where you might feel a certain pull to go towards, you know, um, you might want to go, um, you know, j just to, uh, so you're familiar with the area, okay? Uh, another reason you want to go during the day is to check for uh, gopher holes and stuff like that. You know, you don't want to be walking in the dark, step in a hole, twist your ankle, and, and now you're screwed, you know, uh, or break your leg or something and, and get laid up for 100 years, you know, or, or maybe you want to investigate a building, go during the daylight so you can see, you know, in case there's something on the shelf that might roll off and bonk you on the head or land on your foot or... You know, just uh, make sure that where you're going to investigate is going to be physically uh, safe to do your investigation. Okay, so that's the that's the first few things to think about. And now, when you go on your investigation, um, we'll get into get into some of the um, some of the things that you know uh, that I do after, but. Um, when you go into the uh, to do your investigations, uh, one one thing, uh, don't be a jerk to the spirits, okay? Um, because if they decide that that they don't like you, um, you know it might not just be a one incident thing. They might stick with you for years and years and years, uh, causing you grief and and uh, misgivings and stuff. <clears throat> so, always be polite, okay? That's your best bet. It's just common sense, you know? Uh, if someone comes to your house and they treat you like shit, what are you going to do? Okay, so it's the same thing. I mean, you're going to a place that they've been to for who knows how long. Uh, what gives you the right to go in there and be an idiot? So, just keep that little common sense in mind uh, when you're going to investigate. Now... Here's the thing, like you you watch uh, you watch uh, TV uh, shows and and lots of excitement and a lot of stuff happens and everything else, which is great uh, for TV. <laughs> it is great for for viewing, you know. And uh, even on my uh, my uh, channel, you're watching it, and it, you know uh, sometimes I get lots of stuff. It looks like sometimes I get a little bit of stuff. Sometimes I'll get squat, you know, whatever. It's fine. Um, because you're not always going to get stuff, you know, you, you might get something here and there, little nits and bits and, and sometimes it's just a few little tiny things you get to, um, get to celebrate, which is great. Okay. But if you're new to do this investigation, it's not what it seems. Okay. Um, myself, for instance, if, if I go on an investigation, I mean, the shortest investigation I ever ran was like two hours or something, you know, because that, that's a short one. You're watching, what, 
15 minutes to to 45 minutes or so. I try to keep it at, you know, 45 minutes. Um, I shoot for a half hour to 45 minutes, really, uh, to put on my cinemas. But what you got to realize, um, that's after being there, If even if I'm just by myself, okay, let alone with, if I'm with Blue Falcon or anyone else, uh, if, if I'm with myself, okay, I've got three cameras going, at least two, okay? I got my small uh, GoPro always and my phone Go. And sometimes I have my, my actual camera with me, depending on, on what I'm filming. So, on average, it's two to three cameras. So now you're looking at, if I'm there for two hours, that's six hours of video that I have to go through. And anything that's that's good, you know, I take I, I take that out. Um, and anything that's just, which just happens more, more than not, is nothing, you know. Uh, just sitting there waiting and being bored and, and uh, trying to, to get the evidence. So there's a lot of hard work involved, you know. So you go through six hours of of just um, your movie stuff. And then you got to go through all your EVPs. You got to go through all your Raptor box. Uh, if you're doing Raptor or, or PB, PS7 or whatever it's called or Necrophonics. You got to go through all that evidence as well. Um, so, by the time you're done a two hour, and even if you're just by yourself, uh, investigation, you got 10 hours of stuff just to look through, let alone editing it. Okay? So, you got to keep all this in mind if you want to be an investigator. You got to spend time and money and energy to find a place you want to go. Then you got to make sure that it's safe for you to be there, uh, physically, uh, for sure. And then you're going to be there. And you're going to have six, six to, you know, like there, there's times we had 48 hours worth of, of filming to go through because it was four of us for 12 hours at a site. You know what I mean? So you got to go through all of that. <clears throat> and out of all of that, you're trying to get 30 minutes to, to, to an hour of good stuff that you could put on your cinema. Okay. So. It's not, it's not fast paced. It's not something that you're going to go and it's going to be fast paced. Boom, 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 boom. You're going to get all this evidence and it's going to be so exciting. It doesn't work that way. It is very exciting when a wave happens, when, when something happens, you see. And, and usually I use the word wave because that's what I like. There, there, there's a, a, a wave of energy, a wave of portal, a wave of spiritual activity. <clears throat> that'll happen for five or ten minutes, you know, and then poof, it's gone. So you got to wait for the next one, you know, and that might be 20 minutes from now. It might be two days from now, you know. You never know when it's going to happen, and that's that's the problem. <laughs> you can't, you know. So keep that in mind. There's, it's a lot of work to, to be an investigator, okay, and... It's a lot of work to put a half hour cinema up, a lot more than you might think. So keep this in mind. If you if you want to be an investigator, keep these things in mind. Okay. Uh, now here is a must, a must. Okay. Be true. Don't don't be putting up bullshit. Okay. We call a spade a spade, uh, and I call an apple an apple and an orange an orange. It's your evidence, okay? So this is your, um, this is your honor. This is your uh, face. This is your integrity, okay? Keyword. If you're looking at evidence, you know, and you go, geez, that, that, I'm, a, oof, I'm on the fence. Is this paranormal or not? You know, and you're not sure. But you want to put it in your cinema. Then you say to the people, okay, check this out. I think it might be this. I can't say that it is. That's why I think it might be. 
you know, I'd like your opinion, and then let them judge it for themselves, okay? If it's such an evidence that, that you want to say it's paranormal, but you just can't because of whatever reason, make sure to state that uh, and make it obvious, okay? Otherwise, only put stuff up that you yourself believe, okay, 100%. Believe is paranormal evidence, okay? Don't put up shit that's fake, okay? And don't make stuff happen that didn't happen, okay? Now, here's why. Number one, it's going to make you look like a butthead, you know, and then nobody's going to trust you, you know, because your evidence is all full of crap. That's number one. And the other part of that, the flip side of that is, you can't be proud of it, right? You can't be proud of, of, of that happening, okay? Because you're always going to know, even if you fooled everybody, you're always going to know that that was a piece of shit, that, w that was fake. You're, always, you're the one that has to live with the fact that you're lying and cheating everyone, okay? So you always want to be able to put your evidence up after you edit it, Take a look in the mirror and say, oh yeah, I'm very happy with, with, uh, with my evidence. I'm very happy with my product. Put it out there, okay? If you're not happy with it, edit it some more and fix it, okay? Um, because the next part of it is it affects every other paranormal person. Now, the paranormal community and us, all of us that work in paranormal EU, you can't fight each other. You can't call each other out. I mean, you can't uh, attack each other. I mean, if you've got a problem with another group, either talk to them privately, just the two of you, you know, and discuss the situation and try to work it out. Uh, failing that, just don't associate with each other. Don't don't mouth each other off. Don't say nothing bad about nobody, nothing. Um, because now you're hurting everybody, Okay. Because here's the thing, there's so many people, ah, got to get my star up, this is Luna, she's the star of the show, uh, there's so many people who disbelieve in the paranormal already, and there's so many people attacking the paranormal community and saying, ah, it's all BS, everything else, well, when, when you fight with each other and, and, you know, you're just giving them ammunition, right, so don't be an idiot. Uh, be nice to each other, be courteous with each other, and, and support each other. Okay, that's the, that's the key. You know, because we're all trying to do the same thing. We're all trying to get evidence. We're all trying to prove the existence of what we already know is true. Okay? And who are we trying to prove it to? Ourselves. We're not trying to convert anyone. We're just trying to prove to ourselves, yeah, this is, this is true. Okay? So keep that in mind when you're doing your stuff. Okay? Because um, these things are very important. Okay, and remember to, like I said, it's it's so much work. It, it's a hell of a lot of work, uh, but it's well worth it if if you uh, stay stay straight, stay stay true to who you are, um, and uh, yeah. So you know, I, I just want you to know that that it's a fantastic thing to do. It's a lot of fun. It's it's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of great things. Okay. But it is a lot of work, okay? So be prepared for that because uh, if you don't want to put the effort in, if you, if you don't want to put the work in, um, you're going to find out, you're going to be surprised just how much work actually goes into into it and how hard, <clears throat> how hard it is and how hard all the other paranormal uh, teams and investigators, how hard they work, okay? You're actually going to appreciate other people's stuff a lot more when you've walked in those shoes, okay? Because you're going to actually realize exactly how much effort goes into that half hour or 45 minute thing and how many hours and hours uh, you sit getting nothing, okay? So that's basically what I want to talk about this time. Next time, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I use for protection, some of the things I bring with me for protection, and why. Um, 
and I'll share that with you. Next one after that, maybe we'll talk about why do I do this or why do I do that, like feeding the spirits and stuff, and how to enter and exit different locations, things like that. So, but next time, uh, it'll be all about things that I bring with me every time uh, for protection. And I'll even show you what they are and explain how I got them, all right? <laughs> so, you know, anyway... Look, I hope you I hope you have a, a great time. I hope you really enjoy uh, the paranormal world. I hope you uh, you know um, I hope you become a great uh, member of the community. And like I say, till next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Watch out for ghosts. <laughs> and have a great day. Talk to you real soon now. All right.